Hi everyone, my name is Roy and I'm a second year psychology student at Queen Mary University of London. So today I'm going to be providing you with a quick walkthrough of CogLab, which is provided by Cengage. Essentially, it's an online lab which helps to increase your understanding of cognitive psychology through an experiential and interactive way, such as by taking part in psychology experiments yourself. So I used CogLab for around 17 weeks last semester for my cognitive psychology course and I found that it was a really, really useful, um, really amazing tool and it really helped me to gain a first. Okay, so when you first log in, you will see this screen here and on the left hand side, you can see that there are uh, different topics and essentially these include activities that you can do and also it takes you to the part of the book in relation to the to the topic and if you go down you can see that there are experiments you can do yourself um, and there are video cases as well I just quickly wanted to say that what I found very useful is that there are essay questions that you can attempt yourself to um, test your understanding so there are different essay questions um, and assessments um, if I show you an example of one of the experiments here, we can do it together. So if I want to do signal detection, for example. So it tells you everything you need on this page, which is very useful. So it tells me how many uh, minutes I need to complete it. It says roughly about an hour just under, um, and it tells you the background uh, behind the experiment you're going to do. So you better understand why you're doing it, you know, what to do, how to do it, etc. And then it tells you instructions. Um, and then when you go down here, it, it has a screen um, where you can attempt the um, experiment yourself. So for this task, this is a stimulus detection task. Um, my job is to um, to say whether the dots were arranged in a line or not, so whether the line was present or not. So at the top it says how many trials you have to go as well, and it's really important to always be in full screen so you see um, everything. So if we begin, so I saw the line there, so I pressed present, and then you do next, next trial. So I didn't see any dots in the line, so I pressed absent. And then it asks you, uh, would you like to add your data to the global um, data set? So, um, so you have the option of adding it to um, the research. So I'm going to do yes. And then it takes you to this page. Um, and this is something I really love about CogLab. So it basically tells you um, how well you did in comparison to everyone else in the country, in comparison to everyone else in the world, in comparison to your class. Um, so if you go down here, it shows you a graph. Um, it has the raw data as well. It tells you how you did um, trial by trial, group data um, and global data. At the top, it basically tells you what they didn't tell you in the, the briefing. So they basically debrief you at the end. They tell you what they predicted um, would happen, how they predicted participants would do. Um, they tell you um, confounding variables. Um, so, you know, in a, like an actual experiment, when, you know, face to face, how they debrief you, they they do this in CogLab as well, so you get a better understanding of why you did what you did, if you, um, you know, met their hypothesis, if you didn't, um, and it really allows you to see how well you're doing in different tasks, and they do this for every single um, experiment that you complete as well. I know it's been very difficult for students. We're not used to uh, everything being online, especially for me. I, I learn better. I work better face to face uh, with hard copies of books. But CogLab, it has everything you need to really excel in the course. Um, and I was really anxious at the beginning, but it, it is, it's honestly a really, really useful and, and amazing tool. And I'm really, really happy that 
my module organizer used it and I really recommend it to all other students. Thank you so much for watching the walkthrough. I really hope it was useful. And yeah, thank you.